hello everyone welcome back to my channel it's aisha uh guys today i'm getting ready for like an, a really long and important day um i was just gonna do it myself but then i thought why not get ready with you guys so i'm just gonna chat and get ready welcome to my channel i hope you have already subscribed if you haven't already you know what to do you know the deal just do it already and guys don't forget to like comment share you know all these things count don't feel like i don't see these things i do see these things i appreciate all the love and support i've been getting i do expect more love and support coming from you guys so keep at it thank you so much for everything guys everything uh, so guys today is a long long day like i i'm getting ready because i have to really have to film a few things um so i'm gonna keep it um very like simple but glam at the same time so i'm really excited for it to talk to you guys about how things have been post ramadan you know it's been like um it's been a journey <laughs> It's been, uh, you know, like it's been a process trying to adjust to the routine of post Ramadan. As you know how it is, like during Ramadan, it's just two meals a day and that too on like pretty fixed times. So, you know, it's hard, but easier at the same time because, you know, you have to do these things on like very uh, strict schedule. So, you know it and you deal with it fine. Uh, but post Ramadan, you have to get back to the, you know, three times a day meals and everything else and the routine changing. Ramadan may routine obviously like change your yotiya sab ki. Unless like you are working full time and you have certain things to get done. I feel like Ramadan may sab ki energy levels change your yotiya, sab ki routines change your yotiya. So it's a change, you know, getting back to the old routine. Or making an even nicer routine post Ramadan. How are you guys doing after Eid and everything? And guys, honestly, like Eid was fun. I had a blast. I'm so happy. Like I had my first Eid in Canada. It was good. Like I'm so so happy about that. Honestly, Ramadan wise, if I see in Canada, maybe like Ramadan, we had a good Gujarat. You know, one thing is one. You keep on thinking, but I don't know how it will happen. What will happen? But uh, Alhamdulillah, it all went well. Guys, let me update on you <laughs> you on the weather here. It's been so strange lately. Like, you know how it was all summer vibes for like a few days. And now it's back to like, you know, mixed vibes. Like sometimes, it, guys, it even snowed. It even snowed because snow here. And now it's not snow melt. Bhi nahi hai. So there's some snow, you know, here and there. There's some snow. And the sun is fully out. The sun is fully out, but still, you know, some storm snow is still there. And the moment, the moment you start to get back to, you know, like uh, thinking about summer and like creating those the vibes, you know, summer vibes. Me, like I like that. Like winter comes back and says hello. I'm back. What's I? I understand what's that about. You know, this is my first time experiencing the transition of weather. You know, jo summer se winter. Winter to summer, jo transition hoti hai. Um, here, pe wo transition jo hai, it's pretty like unpredictable. Like it's not like one smooth transition. Ke, you know, slowly, slowly weather change hoga. It's pretty like um, up and down, up and down. Like up and down, really. Up and down. Kabi aayegi thand, kabi nahi aayegi. Kabi full garmi hogi, kabi. And sometimes in the same day, sometimes in the same day, it's so like up and down. You know, funny things that I wake up in the morning, sometimes I feel like I'm going to be full of warmth. I'm going to wear warm clothes. When I go down, I realize that I'm going to be cold. And sometimes vice versa. I go down and I feel like I'm going to be cold. Oh God, it's going to be warm. So it's been a struggle in that sense. One thing I'll say I've learned about the weather here is like, just forget it. Just don't expect anything to happen. Don't predict anything. Don't predict anything. Just forget it. Just don't expect anything. Don't predict anything. Like, you are going to be fooled every time. Every time you think, you know, I know where the direction is going for the uh, weather now, you're going to be fooled. So don't think you know what's going to happen. It's going to be hot. It's going to be cold. Don't predict anything. It's not going to work out because eventually the weather will surprise you here. Especially like in Alberta, I feel like 
the transition I, I feel like especially in Alberta the weather may be more extreme but actually like I've heard the whole Canada is like this but like for Alberta it may be even more extreme that's why like I've been you know up to my mind fully open like I don't I don't think about it I just go with the flow <laughs> one thing I've learned you always have to be prepared for any sort of weather windy you know cold hot whatever you always have to be prepared you always have to keep layering with you even if it's really really hot you always need to keep a jacket in your car uh, because you never know when it's going to be windy and whenever it's windy, it's cold. So, I learned these things that we are always back end pe, chai kuch bhi ho. These days, as I see sun, dekhti hu, I'm so tempted to go out in like go for a walk. But you know, Hamza keeps stopping me that now is not the time. This weather is deceptive and this transitional weather is actually like can make you sick. So, like failed attempts of me trying to go out for a walk as you know i was thinking i you know i've been doing eat series for a while so how will i get back to the normal uh get ready with me series like how will i get back to the norm like mujhe itna maza aaya honestly like doing all the this he looks i was like it's gonna be really different when i go back to the doing the normal stuff because it was so much fun and I've gotten so much love and support over it. Thank you so much, everyone. Like, it's been amazing. And I really thought, ke, and I really, I do miss all, I already miss doing that. Because it was a blast, you know, sharing all these looks with you, inspos with you. And now I'm just looking forward to the next Eid. Um, actually, like, to like, kuch time baadi, idhlo dhai, so... We really have something to look forward to even now. Guys, so the good thing is that next year there is also in a few weeks. I mean, two months or so. So, we really have something else to look forward to. And I am already excited. You know, thinking about the looks and everything. So, it's going to be really fun. Yeah, we are done for the year. <laughs> no more eats. I used to believe that you know, go with the flow is easier life and here I have more you know, strong okay, just go with the flow and honestly I have learned this one thing I have to add I have learned this that the most easy going and the most easy for people 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 will be easy eventually you know God sees everything so jitna logo ke liye ease create karenge utna aapke liye for sure hoga that's a fact and i've experienced it it's like if you help someone to automatically aapke kaam easier ho jate hain you know that's what my parents have taught me ke logo ke liye saniya karo you know aapke liye saniya karega so i'm a firm believer of that and i see it happening on a daily basis so don't forget to be kind to people and help them out wherever you can and be as easy going of a person as you can it's gonna make your life easier it's gonna make life for people around you easier guys it was so much fun sharing this look with you and chatting while i got ready like it's been a blast i this has become a habit you know me talking to you while i'm getting ready so i really like feel like you know i'm connecting so thank you so much for watching this video um, if you haven't subscribed already you know the deal just subscribe so i can keep on making more content and have fun guys and i'll see you guys the next time